what the dog knew. In my old apartment, my dog would, on occasion, look down the hallway towards the bedroom, from the living room, and growl <coughs> for no apparent reason. Also, on occasion, when I was sleeping in the bedroom, she slept at the foot of the bed. I would wake up with her staring intently at the door and growling. She was a big girl. A hundred and forty pounds of Great Dane,、uh, Catahoula, and Slobber. So I'm there for a couple of years of this, thinking, okay, my dog has a good imagination. Wrong. One night I woke up due not to my dog growling, but barking for all she was worth, and not at the door. She was barking straight at me. I opened my eyes pretty much immediately, and there was a blur of light leaning over me, very close, certainly less than six inches from my face. It was not distinguishable as a person; it more resembled a person-sized version of a colorful nebula you might see a picture of in a science magazine. Three dimensionals and all. Um, I immediately got the distinct impression that this thing had been watching me sleep, for God knows how long and how many times before. For all the clarity of that distinct feeling, I had no sense of what it wanted, whether it was malevolent or just curious. I flipped right the fuck out, jumped backwards to the other side of the bed. Too terrified to scream, and that blur of light receded and disappeared over the course of about three seconds. My dog was going absolutely ape. So shortly thereafter, I asked the building manager if anybody had ever died there.、Um, she investigated that and、uh, came back to me a couple of weeks later with a yes. A woman had died of a drug overdose in that apartment in 1995, so 12 years earlier. Shortly after having her child removed、uh, from her custody because of her addiction problems, my dog did still growl at the hallway from time to time, but I never saw it again.、Um, I moved out about a year later. I've had other encounters, but this thing was literally inches from my face, watching me sleep, getting shivers now just writing about it. The dream. Lexi Morgan had a dream. She was walking up a dark staircase, and when she got to the top, she walked into a bedroom. The bedroom carpet was made up of large squares that looked like trapdoors, and each of the windows was fastened shut with big nails that stuck up out of the wood. In her dream, Lexi went to sleep in the bedroom, but during the night, a woman with a pale face, black eyes, and long black hair slipped silently into the room. She leaned over the bed and whispered, "This is an evil place. Run away while you still can." Then the black-haired woman grabbed her arm. Lexi Morgan woke up with a scream and lay awake the rest of the night, shivering and shaking with fear. In the morning, she told the landlady that she had decided not to go to Kingston after all. I can't tell you why, she said, but I just can't bring myself to go there. Then why don't you go to Dorset? The landlady asked. It's a pretty town. It isn't too far. So Lexi Morgan went to Dorset. Someone told her she could find a room in a house at the top of the hill. It was a pleasant-looking house, and the landlady there, a plump, motherly woman, was nice as could be. 
Let's look at the room, she said. I think you will like it. They walked up a dark, carved staircase, like the one in Lexi's dream. In these old houses, the staircases are all the same, Lexi thought. But when the landlady opened the door to the bedroom, it was the room in her dream, with the same carpet that looked like trapdoors, and、uh, the same windows fastened with big nails. This is just a coincidence, Lexi told herself. How do you like it? The landlady asked. I'm not sure. Lexi said, "Well, take your time." The landlady said, "I'll bring up some tea while you think about it." Lexi sat on the bed, staring at the trap doors and the big nails. Soon there was a knock on the door. It's the landlady with tea, she thought, but it wasn't the landlady. It was the woman with pale face and the black eyes and long black hair. Lexi Morgan grabbed her things and fled.